The tireless and memorable work of reporter Marsha Kramer and the WCBS-TV news organization here in New York revealed multiple levels of corruption in New York City schools. This is Andy Baraba, a driver for the Bureau of Supplies, and this is how we caught him red-handed in the parking lot of a Wildbaum supermarket in Queens, selling school copy paper to a man with ties to a local printing company. What are you doing here? Doing a delivery. Where'd you get the paper? Huh? Where'd you get the paper? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you kidding me? Come on. This paper is from the, the Bureau of Supplies. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, you paid for 30 cases on the, on the loading docks today, didn't you? No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Who was it? No. But eventually, Andy came around. So why are you doing it? You're right. In fact, after our story ran, school prosecutors had a field day, seizing some of the goods sold to private businesses, including rock salt, rolls of toilet paper, and copy paper. Lots and lots of copy paper. My report inspired an avalanche of calls to the special prosecutor. Yeah, there were tips about the black market operation, all right. But to our surprise, there were also tips about a murder at the Bureau of School Supplies. A murder investigators confirmed to us tonight they've been investigating for more than five years. Authorities believe that the person murdered was a witness to school theft and that his body was thrown into a furnace. No, not just any furnace, but a furnace right here at the Bureau of School Supplies and School Facilities. And they believe he may have been killed because of what he knew. What local news should be all about, here is Marsha Kramer. You know, one of the great satisfactions of being a reporter is to be able to do the kinds of investigative journalism that results in real change. In this case, it was change for 1.2 million school children in New York City who always seem to be getting the short end of the stick. I, I'd like to thank the Peabody Committee for giving me this award. I'm really grateful. I'd also like to thank some people at WCBS who made it possible to the station's general manager, Bud Carey, the news director, Jerry Nackman, and the assistant news director, uh, Bill Carey, special thanks for giving me the time and the resources to do these kinds of investigations. To the man who edited all these pieces, and there were many, many pieces, Harry Cannon, and a special thanks to my producer and my friend, Patty Aronofsky, who has a special relationship with me and also with trying to do things for New York City kids. She's a woman who knows a lot about a personal um, uh, relationship to the term break a leg because right before we started doing the first of these series she broke her leg and went out to do undercover surveillance crutches and all and last but not least I'd like to thank my husband who every time I'd call him home and say guess what we found another body he'd say I guess you're not coming home for dinner thank you very much